Good morning guys, welcome back to my vlog channel. I thought today I would do something a little bit different. So today is Friday and I have decided that I want to do a manifest with me day. I want to show you everything that I do when I want to realign myself and get myself back on track. I tend to find that these days come around quite randomly and it's almost instinctively that I need to kind of sit down and just work on personal goals and gratitude and journaling. So I thought I would share everything that I do in a typical day to get myself feeling really, really great. So it's a little bit of self-care, a little bit of fitness. I'm actually about to run a 5K because I really find that that uplifts my mood like insane amounts more than it does the gym. So I've really been enjoying running for just lifting my overall mood and actually getting me to focus on tasks throughout the day. I think once I've done a run, I am so much more productive. So that's what I'm going to do now. I'm just getting my trainers on. So I will chat to you whilst I do that. But um, today is actually quite a nice day. The sun is shining. So I thought, you know what? I'm going to enjoy the fact that I can run outside in October um, without feeling too cold. I obviously take a jumper as well. I don't just run in my sports bra at the moment. Um, I was doing that in the summer, but it's too cold for that now. So I found that normally I will run most of my 5K and maybe take the jumper off um, slightly towards the end of the run. Um, oh, for any of you guys wondering, my trainers are Asics. I absolutely adore them. My brother Luke got them for me for my birthday and I don't know if I'll ever go back to a basic trainer again because they're just so comfortable. Um, they just allow me to run and run and run um, and not feel any achiness, which is really, really nice. I actually completed Couch to 5K and got into running with Primark trainers. And oh my God, guys, the difference between a Primark trainer and a proper trainer. It's crazy. But yeah, I also like to run with one of these to kind of whack on my arm. It kind of looks a bit silly, but it does the job. Um, so I'm about to do that. I feel like it's going to be such a nice day today and um, I'm going to be taking you around. I do also need to pop to the shops today because I have run out of my ginger and lemon tonic. It's actually a Lydia Millen recipe and I will be sharing that later for you guys um, because I just love it. But when I'm feeling like I want a self-care day, I always go for tea um, and her kind of tonic instead of coffee. So I'll be making that today. Um, and also showing you kind of sit down what I do for journaling, scripting, manifesting. It's basically a manifest with me day today, guys. So I really hope you stick around. Don't forget to like this video and subscribe, please, if you're new, because this is my vlog channel. This is a completely different channel. So there'll be lots of videos like this, very behind the scenesy, relaxed, chatty videos with you guys. I really hope you enjoy this one. And yeah, let's head for a run. I've just finished up my 5k it was amazing the weather has just got better it's been a really nice way to just kind of de-stress get myself ready for the day kind of have that mental space on my own running bit of isolation and yeah just kind of getting myself into a really nice frame of mind for the rest of the day I'm about to head into the village I need to pick up some lemons and some ginger I also need to send out a little parcel to a friend so I will be heading off like this and just getting those errands done for the day. I'm just going to have a sip of water because I do find I get so thirsty once I'm back home. Um, and I'm just like ready to like glug so much water. So I'm going to do that now. The run was really, really nice. I actually ended up listening to The Power by Rhonda Byrne on Audible for the majority of the run. And then like the last like two or three minutes, I liked a bit of music on. But I tend to find at the moment, I'm enjoying listening to podcasts whilst I run because it's a nice experience. I find that when you listen to Audible, it kind of just transports you somewhere else. Um, and you're not actually focusing on how long you've been running for 
and how much you've got left. So I just find that I can completely zone out with Audible. So that's really, really good. But, um, so I'm just gonna whack my jumper back on, get myself in the car, pop to the shops and also the post office. I won't vlog me actually heading into the supermarket or um, the post office, just because it will take me like two seconds to run in and out. Um, by the time I've got my camera out, it will be so unnecessary. So I will leave you here and I will see you in a little while. I am now fully dressed and ready to head downstairs and make myself the Ginger Lemon Tonic by Lydia Millen. I absolutely love to drink this tonic throughout the day. It's just a really nice alternative to coffee. I definitely feel like I have used and abused coffee this week with deadlines and just as a pick me up throughout the day. So it'll be really nice to have a fresh batch of the lemon and ginger tonic. So let's go downstairs, let's get that made and then it's time to sit down at my desk and get manifesting. up making the tonic and actually I've got quite a big batch considering I doubled the ingredients I've actually got even more juice and liquid than before so I'm not really sure what I did to get so much but I'm really happy with how successful making this tonic was I've got a big bottle full here so I'm really happy with that but I'm just going to use this little one up first before I dig into the big bottle guys I'm so happy with how it turns out, it lasts so long. I actually have it either as a shot in the morning if I want like a pick me up or as something just to kickstart my day. But I think what I like to do most is have a couple of cups throughout the day and actually just drop a little bit, a splash in with hot water and it just tastes so delicious. If you guys do find that it's a little bit bitter, I personally love it um, on the bitter side, but if you prefer it a little bit sweeter, you can always add honey or agave or even a sweetener. But I would recommend that you kind of leave it natural as it is, but it really does feel so invigorating when you drink it. So I'm going to make myself a big cup now. I've got a little bit of filming to do. I'm also going to be showing you my manifesting techniques and my scripting. I feel like I just want to spend the day really getting into the zen zone. So I'll make that tea and then we'll head upstairs and get working. I'm sat back at my desk now. I'm really looking forward to just sitting down, doing a bit of scripting and a bit of journaling. I think I'm going to do my gratitude journal first because I find that when I'm not quite sure where to start with my writing, if I start with saying thank you for things, it kind of flows and it just becomes really, really easy to script. So I'm gonna do that first. I've literally opened Pinterest on both my laptops, so I'm ready to go. I've also got some wax melts because you guys know I'm literally loving wax melts at the moment um this is just the kmb candles this is a local business so please do check her out for wax melts if you're based in west sussex i believe she's also on etsy as well so i will link everything below for her but this one is sandalwood so i kind of felt like quite a warm cozy almost a woody scent for today's manifesting i feel like i just want to get into the autumn spirit uh, but also cozy up and script for the future. So that's what we're going to be doing today. I've just got one wax melt to add to my melter. I've still also got to burn off this wax from a previous wax melt, but it actually doesn't smell of anything anymore. So I'm just going to stick this on top and just let it all melt.
writing in my gratitude journal and also writing in my daily diary and I'm about to do my scripting which guys I think is probably my favorite part of the whole sitting down and manifesting experience. I feel like this is my time to get super creative, release any preconceptions, inhibitions about what it is that I want and actually believing that I can have it and attract it into my life. So I've mentioned this monogrammed journal from 365 before on my how to journal video. I will link that below if you've missed it guys. It kind of gives you a breakdown of how I like to journal in this particular diary. But what I like to do is just write as if and act as if something has already happened. So I'm not gonna be showing you what's in this journal. It is super personal. But I do really want you guys to give this a go. See how you get on with journaling and scripting and writing as if so what I like to do and it's actually probably a bit of a hybrid of two sorts of things I like to mix my vision board with my scripting journal so I'm a very visual person I like a bit of visual aid so what I do is I go through my pictures that I printed off from Pinterest and my mood boards and actually I stick them in this book and start to script around the image so it might be one or two images it might just be one I try to keep it fairly simple so I have space enough space to write in the book. I feel like I'm either going to put on some autumn jazz or perhaps a love frequency depending on what I'm feeling but I really want to sit down and just get straight into this. I have lots of images which I've actually tucked into the back of this journal so this is why I really recommend this journal. It's got this pouch here so you can kind of store all your images in there and when I'm ready to script I just get an image out, anything that's really calling to me. I might even print off some new images depending on what it is that I want to manifest or specifically script for. And I will sit there and just write in that section. You can keep it so simple. And I feel like having the images in the book as well kind of just gives you that hall pass to not have to write loads. I know people really do go through lots of journals and scripting notebooks, but I find that I really enjoy having the visual aid there. So I will be starting this. I'm not quite sure what I'm going to script about. I feel like I have an idea, but I'm going to just have a flick through my images, see what I have, and then I will start scripting. So I'm super excited. Now that I have all my journaling done, I want to sit and mood board. Now this is actually my favorite part of my manifestation day. I really like to sit on Pinterest, put some nice cozy music on. And sometimes I just like to put on a full 
ambiance in the background like a crackling fire or crunchy leaves so I'm going to sit at my desk and get myself some imagery and collect it all together and start mood boarding for my autumn screensavers on my laptops at the moment that is what I really like to do I do really enjoy printing out and sticking on my framed mood board however at the moment because of space I like to just have it on my desktop I feel like this is a really great way for those of you who want to manifest on the go if you're always with a laptop it's it's great to kind of save it to that or even a phone screensaver as well so that's what I'm going to be doing right now collecting some images and getting my mood board together so if you want to pause this part of the video get your laptop or tablet anything that will enable you to get Pinterest and let's get mood boarding together <laughs> up mood boarding and getting my mood board perfect I'm going to insert it on the screen right here for you to check it out I love to do this kind of thing when I'm looking for inspiration or trying to get excited for a particular season I know with autumn there's so many different things to look forward to so actually with the autumn period I tend to create quite a few different mood boards so check this one out I also recommend that you guys have a look at my Pinterest I have so many boards on there but in particular my autumn one it's, it's where I get all my autumn festivals ideas so if you head over there you can check that out too let me know if you guys are the same and are just as obsessed as I am with pinning and putting things onto mood boards I find it really really inspiring but I will just leave it there I'm actually going to head out now and get myself a pumpkin spice latte or something festive just to get me in even more of a festive mood I feel like I've been scripting and manifesting lots of different autumnal things autumnal activities so I thought I would head out get myself super in the mood and cozy up, wrap up warm, and head out for a pumpkin spice treat. <laughs> okay guys, so firstly, this is the vegan pumpkin spice cookie from Starbucks. And then basically what I asked for was a cold brew iced coffee with some pumpkin syrup in but I think they've added something because it's so orange and I've never normally seen it like this orange before how cute is that I feel like I'm really gonna get into the festive mood with this coffee and also this cookie epic Once you're ready, just take a nice comfy position and close your eyes. If you do want to lay down, then feel free to lay down. Okay, so keeping those words in your mind of those things that you want to release with this um, last quarter moon, let's just imagine those words in our mind now as though they're floating in our minds, it's in our mind itself. And we're going to wrap those words inside a bubble so each word inside of an individual bubble and we're going to imagine those words floating inside our mind right now and now that they're in their bubbles these words they can float so we're going to imagine those words moving up through our head itself and they're floating just above us now wherever we're sitting or laying And in a moment, they're going to pass through the room that you're in, either through the ceiling or through the window or through the wall. They can pass through solid objects. And they're going to end up outside. 
So let's imagine them doing that now, floating to the space just outside whatever room you're in. And as they reach the world outside, they're going to be carried by a breeze. They're going to be carried upwards. And we're going to follow them with our mind's eye. We're going to be able to see them as they go. And they're going to float further and further upwards until they reach the, the layer of clouds that we've got today. And they're going to just float just before that layer of cloud. Now, once they pass through that cloud in a minute and they are hit, hit by the sunlight, all of those words are going to fizzle into just a kind of golden dust. And they're going to be really happy to, for this to happen. There's not going to be any resistance from these bubbles or these words. And as soon as the sun touches them, they'll just fizzle and it will be a beautiful kind of reaction. And that dust will just stay up there. It will kind of ever vest into nothing and it will just be up above the clouds where the words will stay. And then we're just going to keep that with us now, that feeling, as we open our eyes and come back to the room that we're in. Lovely. Okay, well, thank you so much, everyone. I hope you enjoyed that. That was just a little short session today. Um, if you have any questions, do drop them in the chat box. I'm back home now after the most festive Starbucks ever. I've just filmed a video which will be going live on my main channel. So if you guys aren't already subscribed, then head over there. But I just thought I would end this video doing what I absolutely love to do when I'm looking for answers. So this is my Angel Answers Oracle deck from Radley Valentine. I really enjoy reaching for the Radley Valentine Oracle deck when I'm looking for answers and just a bit more direction with things. So if you guys don't know what these are, they are similar to tarot, but they're not tarot cards. They're very, very easy to use. And if you guys are new to Oracle decks, then I do recommend that you try an Angel Answers one first. It's really straightforward. It's almost like yes and no answers um but this is what the cards look like i'll just kind of show you on the outside so you've got all sorts of answers here um it's really really nice so the first thing i like to do when i use these cards is set the right intention and actually associate the cards to me so if i've used the cards on somebody else then i do go ahead and sage them because i do prefer to know that it's my energy versus somebody else's energy so Another thing that you can do is kind of have a feel or if you're with somebody um, and you don't have sage, I recommend that they feel all the cards and kind of flick through them like so. And then also just like tap on both sides. Um, it just works. So I like to shuffle kind of this way and I feel like I'm going to be super nervous doing this because I don't actually do this in front of anybody else. I just kind of do it myself. I honestly don't know how these tarot readers shuffle these cards so confidently for the camera when they're doing pick a cards. So if you guys haven't heard of pick a cards, then I'm going to link some amazing channels down below. I really enjoy pick a cards. My top kind of choices for um, tarot reading has to be Stargirl the Practical Witch. She is probably one of my absolute favourites. Um, she isn't uploading as often at the moment, but I'm sure she'll be back on it. But um, I do also love Vanessa Semina. She is amazing. She always has amazing nails as well. So if you guys are interested in getting to grips with tarot or just kind of looking at picker cards, then I will link some really cool videos below and also some like relevant ones. So anything relating to the current situation. This card just popped out. There's something better. So that card keeps popping out a lot to me actually. So what I'm gonna go ahead and do is sit and actually ask some questions. I won't let you guys know what those questions are because they are personal. Um, I know this kind of video is super, super personal, but I did kind of want to share as much as I possibly could without giving away like too much information. Obviously I would absolutely love to be, you know, fully transparent with you guys, but I think sometimes it's best to keep things, certain areas of your life private and that's totally understandable. But I really recommend if you 
guys are looking for a bit of direction right now you know it is a period of uncertainty we are kind of worrying about what's next um then i really do recommend that you get some oracle cards i did also want to give a disclaimer that i'm in no way pushing this on anybody that follows this channel um this is just something that i like to do it's a personal preference if you guys do engage with it then um sorry this card popped out interesting um if um i've lost my train of thought now yeah if this is something of interest to you then obviously keep watching and let me know that you guys like this kind of thing if it isn't something that's of interest to you i am also intrigued to know why i know that there are people that are skeptical that's totally understandable i think it's just something that i've kind of grown to really get to grips with and just kind of attracted into my life so i do feel like it is meant for me um but yeah there's a lot to it and i think there's a lot to learn i'm not someone who is ready necessarily to teach in any way i'm still practicing very much so this is you know almost like um an additional hobby which i've been able to pursue in lockdown this will be the last few clips of the vlog i really hope you guys enjoyed this manifest with me video it was something that i've wanted to do for a long time now so i'm really super glad that i've managed to create this video for you i know it's really early days and it's my first one but um yeah i really hope you guys enjoy it and i will say maybe i'll do to end this video maybe something slightly different okay I mean, I've never done this before, so I don't know how well this is going to go, but I'm going to shuffle. Okay, actually, do you know what? I was going to do a cutaway with music, but I think I'm going to ask questions for... Ask questions for you guys. Okay, okay, okay. So right now I'm setting the intention... So I'm asking the angel cards if I can have some direction. I'm going to have three cards pulled from this deck and go ahead and pause this video now. Um, and then you guys can pick from one, two and three. So pick your pile and then that will be your answer to the question. So it could be any question, something that's a yes or no. Um, something that you're wanting a bit more direction with right now. Okay, that card just flew out. Okay, so I've just picked card number one. I'm going to show a cutaway now so you guys can see what I'm doing. Whoop. It is quite fun when you um, shuffle a deck and then a card just flies out. Um, that's quite exciting. It's almost like it's like meant to. I say that now. Oh. Okay, that's card number two. It's very um, hit and miss. You never know ooh, what you're going to get. Okay, so. I'm going to insert a cutaway here whilst I'm talking. Guys, the following cards are pile one, pile two, and pile three. Go ahead, pause this video, select a card that resonates with you, and then let me know in the comments which card you picked. If you want to, if you want to keep it private, then please go ahead and do that. I do not mind at all. Okay, card number one, the angels are asking for you to reconsider. Is there something that you're asking right now that you actually need to reconsider? Is there a plan? Is there a strategy? Are you doing things the right way? Are you communicating effectively? This is your time to reconsider. So for the purpose of this video, I'm going to refer to the Oracle Cards guidebook for reconsider. I'm going to read it out for you guys. So for pile number one, the angel card is saying... There is an element of your plan that should be re-evaluated. Take some time to really go through your project or proposal thoroughly. Share your intentions with a trusted friend or advisor who can give you objective feedback. Ask your angels for guidance. This is not the moment to make the change in your life that you're considering. A better time will come or you'll realise that you wish to choose a different kind of transformation for yourself. Okay, so pile number two, this is the answer to your question. 
not the right time. Okay, so I'm going to go ahead and read the guidebook answer in the oracle guidebook. Not the right time. This is not the right time presently for what you're inquiring about. This answer is not a no, just a not yet. Have patience. Your angels will give you a sign when the timing is perfect. Hi, card number threes. This is the answer to your oracle card. So for those of you who chose card number three, your reading is as follows. What you asked about will happen this month or soon thereafter. Your patience is rewarded. That was a very random end to this vlog, but I feel like I just wanted to kind of introduce it, see if you guys were interested. Please do go ahead and give this video a thumbs up. I really would love to know which part of the manifestation process is your favourite? What do you like to do the most? I think for me, I particularly like the scripting side with the vision board element as well implemented in there. I feel like I get really excited about that. But there are lots of things to do and things to unpick. I will also link my lovely friend at the Alchemy Co below. She has a wonderful moon phase course, which is available right now. And I do have an exclusive discount code for that. So please do check it out if you are interested in learning more about the moon phases. There's lots more over on her Instagram as well. Her name's Heather, she's fantastic. But that's all I have time for in today's video. I really hope you guys enjoyed. I've said that about a million times. I'm just super excited for you guys to see this vlog. But please do let me know your thoughts about this kind of vlog. Do you enjoy it? Let me know. I will see you guys in a vlog very, very soon. Stay sweet.